Hello, my name is Miss Froze and I am the proud principal of David Livingston Elementary School and the president of the BC Literacy Council. I am very pleased today to welcome Mr. Mires, the Livingston Librarian, as our guest reader and he is going to get us ready for Earth Day. Enjoy! Welcome back everyone. Um, I have a second story that I'd like to share with you in celebration of Earth Day and it's a love letter to our planet. It's called Thank You Earth, a letter by April Pulley Sayer. Dear Earth, Thank you for water and those that float, for slippery seaweed and stone. Thank you for mountains and minerals that strengthen bills and bone. Thank you for air, even fishy whale breath. Thank you for colors and coastlines and beach. Thank you for tiny and towering, for trees and vines that reach. Thank you for curves and prickles and parallels, for patterns, all shapes that repeat. Thank you for leaves and stems and buds, for plant parts that we can eat. Thank you for sounds and storms and seasons, for struggles and pale in-betweens. Thank you for rays and radials and overlapping greens. Thank you for jumbles, ingredients for soil, and bright new growth in spring. Thank you for those that crawl, Yes, all, 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 even for those that sting. Thank you for sunsets. For sky, room for birds. For edges, eyes can roam. Thank you for beginnings, for endings, for lifetimes. Thank you for being our home. Thank you, my friends. Enjoy Earth Day. Take care. Again, my friends, going back to the love letter by April Pulley Sayer, thank you, Earth. I did want to take a moment to share some of the photographs that are used in this book. And I want our primary friends to know that I will be sharing this in the library this week. So you get a chance to see the images um, close up. <laughs> and I strongly encourage you friends this will be in the library soon and you two can sign it out so you can have a closer look so let's end with thank you for the sunsets take care <laughs>